name is Susan Green. I'm the Executive Director of the Norma Livingston Ovarian Cancer Foundation. The Norma Livingston Ovarian Cancer Foundation was started in 2004 by Lori Livingston, whose mother died of ovarian cancer. The mission of the foundation is to raise funds for ovarian cancer research and promote awareness about the disease. Well, I think it's very accurate in portraying ovarian cancer. From what I know of it, it's very provocative and gut-wrenching, basically, is what comes to mind. I'm excited to see it, and I'm glad that Theater Tuscaloosa is putting it on and getting the message out about the dreadful disease of ovarian cancer. The Norma Livingston Ovarian Cancer Foundation has about four or five major events each year. We do an annual Mother Walk, which is a 5K that's done the Saturday before Mother's Day every year. Then we do another 5K in August out in Greystone. September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and we partner with different organizations to bring awareness about the disease. We turn buildings teal and uh, put posters up around, and then we also do a number of speaking engagements. We have trained speakers who are survivors and family members, and we also have Ovarian Cycle, which is a three-hour indoor cycle event in February, March, to raise awareness and raise funds for ovarian cancer. This year, it's March 1st. We have donated almost a million dollars to UAB, Division of Gynecologic Oncology. My sister, Sherry Romanoff, was diagnosed with stage 3C ovarian cancer in 2009. And when she was diagnosed, she didn't know any of the symptoms. The way I like to think about the signs and symptoms is the word beat. Beat is bloating. E is eating little but feeling full quickly. A is abdominal discomfort. And T is trouble with urination. So those are the main symptoms that are most well known. There's also fatigue, backache, trouble with intercourse, weight loss, and weight gain. To learn more about what the Norma Livingston Ovarian Cancer Foundation does and about ovarian cancer, please visit our website at nlovca.org. connect more on a heartfelt level rather than an intellectual level, just in her suffering 
and in her wanting to be heard and not necessarily um, being heard. Um, I also connect just from my sister's own experience of how lonely and isolating and frightening it is to be diagnosed with this disease. And just, she seemed really alone with it. My sister had a good support group, but um, My hope for bringing the play to Tuscaloosa is that more and more women will be aware of the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer and to spread the news because really and truly until there's an early uh, diagnostic test, by the time most ovarian cancer is found, it's in the later stages. That's why there's so many people, luckily, who have breast cancer and who have survived it because they find it in the early stages because of the mammogram. But since there is no tool, like I said, by the time it's found, it's, it's almost too late.